It's your boy, Zappa and Steve. Welcome back to Fantasy Star 4. Howdy! Previously, cool robot. But also, Zeo beat us into oblivion. Alice, gravely injured. Another little fun fact about Demi. Uh, we talked about her being a control android last time. She's... More or less, like the kind of like the beating heart of the planet. Mm -hmm. She could because um, her place is taking care of a uh, nervous, which controls the planet's uh, weather and stuff like that. So when Zero took her away from that, that's when stuff started getting really, really bad. So, in a way, Demi is the guardian of this planet, and that's all. Androids in this game are very, very important. Well, that's important. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why they make a key item. Because you can't do anything without it coming up. Like, yeah. Place is still alive. We got independent from Seed and Nervous. A lot of other machines are housed here, but they haven't been used for a long time. They probably need some repairs. I have no idea what the machines are, but this is some place. Pretty adept at handling these machines. Were you caught by Zeo? Were you trying to get the system back under control? Yes, that's right. Zeo is very violent. Very funny. Defeating Zeo is not going to solve the problem. What? Is the system being out of control the result of Zeo's doing? No, the real cause of the problem is that Zelan has been issuing abnormal commands. Impossible! Not Zelan! Zelan? Huh? Zelan is essential control for the Algo Solar System's environmental maintenance systems. It's an orbiting station on the other side of Motavia. Wow! How are we gonna get there? Well, first let's think about defeating Zeo and stopping Nervous. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not that this is just defeating Zeo. That's the case. This makes me worry about Dark Falls. Ooh. It occurred to me that I may be able to pick up a physical copy of this. There is a chance. Oh, that'd be cool. They're pretty expensive nowadays, at least for uh, an American copy. So if you can get one, I, I have a complete inbox copy of a of a, the Mega Drive version. Hmm. And, and I have my old loose copy of it from that I bought from a via rental store way back when for the actual Genesis. <laughs> right. Fun fact, this game was $100 on release Ugh. in the States. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, it'll be alright. I'll start the Land Rover up. Let's go outside. I will be waiting. Because usually at the convention that I work for every year, they have a booth of retro games. And I always mm -hmm. peek through the Wonder Swan stuff and, you know, the Super Nintendo stuff just, just to see. But I, I've mm -hmm. never had a reason to look at Sega anything, ever. If, if you can get this, that'd be super cool. But yeah, look, it's tank time. Look at this luster, this massiveness. What a functionally beautiful design. Don't you find it just fascinating? Um, yes? Oh, by the way, did you catch how old Demi was? 320-something, if not yep. less, <laughs> or more. No! Okay, I believe north? Oh, hello. Yeah, now, now east, yep, you can just go through the sand. That just Bye. leads back to Krupp. Okay, I know you said east, but I wanted to see what was else. Yeah. New mode! Mm hmm. Vehicular combat. Option? These Buster are your special attacks. And graviton. I wanna fuck around. Buster. Yeah, I figured that. I figured that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, what happens when, when it reaches zero? Uh, game over. Oh. But you, you do, the, like, the Land Rover does heal itself after every battle. 
Now, your skills don't come back until you go to an end, but as far as hit points go, uh, yeah, they'll come back. I was kind of... Not a whole lot of XP. <laughs> yeah, vehicular combat, will, while cool, is not really worth it, unfortunately. Uh. Well, I would have hated to fight that thing on foot. What is this? Have we been here? That's the cave of Tanoe. What was Noe again? Tonoe was the village where you met Grizz. Okay, Tonoe, my bad. Now, is it because we're in this big thing? Go up a little bit. Because you're in this big what? Well, that answers my question. I was, gonna, I was trying to say, is it because we're in the, in the in the Land Rover that we fought a Sandworm? We have to fight bigger enemies. That looped around on accident. Village. Now, how do we... <clears throat> now, there's only two reasons to go to this place. One will come later. And two, to, op to open up an optional dungeon that you can do now. Okay, so... Ah, I see. That answers that question. Oh, that's weird. I, I disconnected from Discord for a second. Oh, I didn't notice at all. Monsen. Yeah, feel free to talk to all the locals. Only one of them matters, but might as well talk to everybody. Huh? You're strangers. Must have a strange sense of fun to visit Monsen. Yeah, because it rhymes with onsen. Why do you think I came here? It does have an end, at least. Right. Welcome! Thank you! Don't I've got to mention, we won't get any customers. Uh, that one thing that you stepped on in the machine center that went wah, 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 and then flashed or whatever, yeah, that's a full heal for the party. I think including skills, much. TP, and stuff, yeah. I'm a traveling hunter. I'm gonna mess with all the sandworms around here. Because they don't chase you if you run away from them. I didn't get any ideas about trying to battle them, but I did. In a giant tank. All these sandworms. Parents will not let their children play outside. Guess they're just being careful. I mean, that tracks. It'd be too problematic for them to play in the city. That quick sandwich is small in, but it's growing year by year. Presently, Monsen's a deserted island on land. No interacts with any other community. Time to do things your way. <laughs> I guess this is a yep. sign of uh, earthquakes doing damage. Earthquakes are a bad thing, yes. You can visit the peninsula? There's a village called Termi over there, but... Because of the quick team, we won't be able to get there. I wonder if they're okay. Termi is progress. And it sells very expensive equipment, but very good equipment. I wonder if it's a ground crack from an earthquake. This isn't a circumstance where I want to find out. Oh, you don't want to fuck around, Chaz? Chaz doesn't want to fuck around. Did you just see the house next door? I'm scared of death every time an earthquake occurs. Thinking this house is going to be like that one. You're rolling dice. Who's next? <laughs> Have you seen the Leda Tower? It stands on the peninsula of the east. Well, he seems okay, that, like the that, important guy. Unless... To, to talk to. That's the only one you need to. My son and his wife used to live next door, but uh, they uh, left this town just abandoning us. Well, this town sucks. It's full of earthquakes. This is just between you and me. My son's wife. She's one depraved person. Actually, Jesus. I'm quite relieved that she's gone. <laughs> rude. Very rude. Not a good idea to open up the people's cabinets without permission. What are you talking about? Other protagonists do it all the time. It's fine. It's okay. It's it's called the hero tax. Mm hmm. Hey, you little shit. I wonder if you can get to the other side of the planet if you fall into that crack. It's okay. It's yeah. Let's dig the China, bro. Hmm. There's a crack in the ground right in front of our house. Hey, you children shit. fall into it. You yeah, it's fenced off. I can't even fall into it. Crack. Yeah, oh. let's dig the oh. China, bro. I would like to inspect the sign, please. 
says danger. Cracks in the ground. No trespassing. Oh, I'm gonna trespass. <laughs> there have been earthquakes recently. Ugh, help! Yikes, what's wrong, Grizz? Oh, oh, I get it. Grizz is afraid of earthquakes, aren't you, Grizz? Huh? Is that true? What if I'm afraid? I can't help it. <laughs> what a coward. Rude. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Grizz. Oh, shut up. At any rate, with earthquakes happening so often like this is a real problem. I'm sure that the plate system is the call of all, th all this. Plate system? It's a system located just north of here which controls the tectonic planes of Motavia's surface. I'm sure the system is malfunctioning. Well, if that's the case, let's just shut it down. Oh, uh, what are you going to do to set the earthquakes? Oh, thank you very much. Huh, 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 what, what, um, um, we're... We have bigger fish to fry? Uh-oh. Please, you have to stop the earthquakes! Please! But... Thank you! <laughs> Welcome to Hero Tax! Okay. okay, so north there is <clears throat> there is a, a mechanical center called the plate system. Once you talk to that guy, it opens up. Ah. Now, may I make a... May, you can go up north and look at it real quick if you want. But I would like to make a recommendation. Yes. Uh, it'll be uh, to, to the is it to the east. And, yeah, yeah. There it is. I would not go in yet. You can, but if you want to make it a little easier on yourself, get back in the Land Rover and go southeast. I mean, you can do the fights. Oh, okay. But th there, there, there oh. is. There, there's a reason I want you to wait just a little bit longer. It's not even long. Right, I have a macro for that. That's okay. Okay, yeah, them hard, the fights run hard. It's, it's not too bad, but we can make it a little easier. Okay, southeast ish. Nope. Oh, that's neat. But I guess that's what the enemy has to do. Mm -hmm. Now, at what point do my um my 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 options restock? At at ends? At ends, yes. Or by stepping onto those sparkly things on the floor. Anything that causes a full recovery? Yes. Uh, maybe it was just south? Or maybe, is it to the east and south? Fuck, I'm sorry. I hope there's upgrades to this thing. There's not. Sorry to say. Okay, right way. Okay, there's a town. Termy. Oh, you nice must be town. strangers here. This is Termy. It's the village that worships a hero of yore. Big Fantasy Star 1 reference here. Nice. It's a fact there were serious earthquakes, but I don't know because I got sick and tired of that mean old lady. Turn them on, Sen. Pfft, you're joking. So this is the, the, this is that son and his wife, that, yep. the, the old couple we're talking about. At first, I thought a little about moving to Termy, but now with the quicksand, I can't go home if I want to. But my wife would rather stay here. Well, it's nicer here. Look, it's, it's green. Right. You know, and you know, wife and, and mom North aren't West. fighting. Mm-hmm. Which that's you know, that's just how plus. some families work. Right. Right. Okay. It says it's got weapons and armor, but it's just an armor shop. In the past, a spellbinder came to this town and taught me to put my feelings in metal. And this is a store that inherited that knowledge. It's true. He willed the metal into shape. It said that Linnea Tower is erected by the spellbinder who came from a long time ago. I'm sure this story is kind of a little exaggerated. 
After all, it's an old story. That's old stories are want to do. Welcome. You've got mail. Okay, so this town sells Psy Gear. Psy Gear offers uh, hidden magic defense, and it will increase the mental power of the bearer. This is very, very good stuff. You want all of it. Now, whether you can afford all of it or not is another story, but it looks like you can. Probably, actually. Well, no, you'll be one side mail short. And if you want to get any side shields, you know. Uh, but yeah, at least for now, you can get two side mails. And there we go. You might be able to get uh, the third one once you equip everybody and sell your old crap. You came here with a good bit of cash. There we go. Goodbye, ceramic knife. Old stuff. Mm hmm Yeah, you'll definitely have enough. No! I don't think you would let me sell it, would it? No. If you absolutely need something, we'll not let you sell it. Well, would you look at that? I'm financed. Yep. Well, financed. Mm-hmm. Rika. Rika didn't get the third one. Wait, what? That was a laser barrier. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> you can go ahead and sell a couple of those cure perils if you want. At this point, yeah. I mean, you know, keep a couple, just in case. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. Got those. Mm-hmm. All good. Okay, continue exploring. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -da. There's a statue over there. You know I've never been behind here. Okay, it just takes you out. Okay. I was just saying, wow, is there like some sort of hidden treasure chest I never found? Anybody in here to talk at? I love this town with all the greenery and the smell of the sea. It's a statue of the heroine. That quicksand getting bigger and bigger. All right, I can walk on these. Yep. Statue of Heroin is atop the hill. It said that even the most skilled stone mason could not do justice to her beauty. I smell the urge to fight in you. Maybe you necessary evil in order to survive, but I don't like it. I don't like you guys. Leave! Sarah is a past you talk about. She put her adversary down by force, right? Only uncivilized people would do something like that. Lady, you did not play Fantasy Star 1. <laughs> you don't know about our heroine? Uh, you'd be stricken by divine punishment. Great person who long, long ago confronted and conquered the evil wizard. More on that later. This village has a lot of history. Apparently, heroin came to visit and took to this town greatly. I whiffed it. One space too short. Statue of Heroin, Alice Landale. A different Alice? This is Alice Landale, the heroine from 2,000 years ago. The 15-year-old prota protagonist of Fantasy Star 1. The first female to be a protagonist in an RPG. Nice. Yeah. And with her cat uh, Mew by her side. It's a musk cat, whatever. So Alice is a very, very, very important character, not just in Fantasy Star history, not just in Sega history, but in gaming history, period. Hmm. So, pay respect, everybody. Alice Eindale is the OG. Oh, 
much so that I went right now to go and look up a picture of her. Because I don't know what she looks like. She's pretty. And it's back in an age when you didn't have to show anything to be pretty. Right. And don't get me wrong. I know, I, I know uh, fellas, including me, like, uh, seeing things revealed once in a while, but, uh, that's to show nothing, and, uh, she, she looks perfectly fine for it. All sorts of art, from models in Final Fantasy XIV to AI art. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, to see that Google... Uh, not saying and not expressing opinions on AI art, but right. to say that when Google brings up AI art of a character from some 30 odd years ago, people still care because somebody had to type those words in. Mm -hmm. Almost 40 years ago, actually, the game was released in 86 or 87. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Back in the Master System. Cat. I wonder if it's a pet. It is. More on that later, by the way. Oh, I, I thought I pushed the talk button. I didn't. It's the hill of the person of courage. Isn't it romantic? Perfect for a couple, isn't it? Person of courage. In fact, I've got more to say about both of those characters later. A lot more. Oh, Ladea Tower? That's located south of this village. Come to think of it, there was some other person the other day who said he was heading for the tower, too. He's tall and gazed at the task of heroin for quite a while. More on that, too, later. Probably. What's his face? There's, there's a reason why. Is he a descendant, probably? No. Is Not her, of her. This heroine of ours is beautiful. I admire her. Hey, you guys, Terrace. Why don't you buy an Alice sword? I'll give you a discount. Buy a more gift store. No one's around Termy. It is a gift store. Hmm. It, yes, Chaz can use the Alice sword, but it only has like one attack power. But keep it in mind for later. Now, the pennant and the wood carving are decorations for your house. Ah. They don't do anything. They're just there. So if at some point you got some cash to blow, go for it. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And Parola Mate is just a Monomate. In fact, Parola Mate is, uh... I can't remember what it did in Fantasy Star 1, but it's from that also. So, yeah, mm. it's a, it's another reference to Fantasy Star 1. That's what's so great about this game. It, it, it pays so much homage to the old games. It has respect. It, it, it is all one big continuous story, although there's a thousand years between each game, but, you know. It still has respect. Yes. But I don't need any, either of these now, right? No. Just remember where they are. In case Correct. I'm playing by myself. Mm -hmm. Which I should it's do just... more often, so it's, it doesn't seem so hand-holding. Well, I, I, I mean, if I'm hand-holding, I apologize. I, no, I, it, it's I fine, because... I, I, I genuinely get excited about this game, especially seeing somebody play it for the first time. And I'm just doing my best to just inject lore, because, like... You know, you haven't played the other games. Yeah, the, I have. That's, that's great. I usually play games with a guide simply because I don't want to be lost. And because I'm recording, I don't want to waste time on the viewer of me being lost. Right. So th that's why I, what I do is I give you the important items in the dungeon just right. to kind of let you know. Okay, but I go, go ahead and go to the tower. And then something will happen and then leave. Okay. Like, don't, don't complete the tower yet. Ugh. Just go in there. We're going to do a smash and grab of sorts. Okay. But, uh, I was reading the comments on my, uh, Secret of Evermore with Bird, and some people were saying I was being too hand -holdly. but Bird had a tendency of not remembering which direction he even came from. I have that he's not same an action problem, game, so. game player. <laughs> hey, get fucked. Oh, no. My chat uh. thing isn't properly working. I wasn't properly connected to anything, but there is a bot in my chat. Yeah, I uh, I would deal with it, but I. All right. After deleting a bot from the chat from the stream, let us continue our adventure. 
You restarted the recording? Yes, I unpaused. Okay, cool. Uh, stay real quick, just in case. Hmm, hold on. A different, different kind of hold on. Okay, we want to go up two floors. Now, this in initial room is huge. I'll save you a little trouble. There's nothing on it except for the stairs. Now, this is also another Fantasy Star 1 uh, throwback. This music is a remix of the dungeon music in Fantasy Star 1. Huh. Why did yeah. it... So, I know I talk about how I came up on Fantasy Star Online. Uh -huh. I have one instance where I remember playing a Fantasy Star game. I don't know which one because I played it on the Sega channel. On the Sega channel? Yes. Uh, well, I had chances, a... are, chances are it wasn't one. Right. I'm, I'm guessing it wasn't four. Oh, clearly. So it was either two or three. But the only part that I can truly remember about it is that once I got into a fight, I was fighting Chocobos. But because it was, again, not my, you know, not Were my Sega, I was at the behest of what my friend also wanted to play. But I couldn't the sit there and play an RPG on my friend's sake. Were the characters on screen? I don't remember. I remember in, fighting in, in, in I, the battle. I remember fighting a air quotes chocobo, but I know now that those are rapids. Yes. And it was one of my it, first encounters, period. So that's probably Fantasy Star 3 then. That's the one that takes place on the world ship. Uh I'm watching Demi's HP go. Oh. Right, you said there's nothing on this floor. It's just big. Right. Yeah, just just down the middle, you get some stairs. Okay. That's not a pass. I'll, I'll, I'll save you the, the trouble, actually. J you can explore later. Because we are just here for a smash and grab. Ah. And then I'll leave you alone the rest of the tower once you come back. I promise. I think there is treasure on this floor, but again, can get later. You'll see why I wanted to, why, why I wanted to rush you. All right, so where are we going? Okay, go right, up, right, down. And just follow that till you get to the stairs. A thing will happen, and then you'll uh, uh, hide us out of here. I take it I have to go through here to trigger this to make progress anyway? Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to go through the entire tower, but you'll want to do this thing first, and then go to complete system. Rune, so you were here after all. You've come, Chaz. Amazing that you got all the way up here with those short legs of yours. Rude. Rune, this is no time for your shit. I implore you, give us your assistance. Hey, what happened to Alice? Something wrong. Well, the fact is... Is that right? Such a thing happened. Alice. <sighs> but let's not be hasty. As soon as we get the Psycho Wand. Psycho Wand? Another Psycho Fantasy Star 1 callback. Yes, I came here to get it. The Psycho One is the only weapon that can break through Zeo's magic barrier. So, Rune! The Psycho One is supposedly sealed up in the uppermost level of the Ledea Tower. I haven't got my hands on it yet. But I'm on my way to get it now. Will you accompany me? Once you find the Psycho One, I'll be more than happy to lend a helping hand. Okay. Hey, I get it. Okay, Rune's back, and he's here to stay. I presume that your plan of action is for me to go take on that extra dungeon? Yes. Got it. Bring Rune, so that Rune can get XP because Rune takes a long time to level. He's just the slowest leveler okay. in the game. State. Or and no. his help would dex. be most appreciated anyway. What is your dex? 23, 5, uh, 22, 23. Agility no, is the number I'm looking at. Why? Yeah, every time. Why every time? Well, to be fair, dexterity is a measure of like 
you know, your nimbleness too, right? So yeah. it's, it's a little misleading. Okay, so Rika is still top of the food chain. Rika is top of the fast chain. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Rika will always be the fastest. 24, 22. Okay, so... That's because Chaz has short little stumpy legs. <laughs> <laughs> Rune's like... <laughs> Alright. Rika... <clears throat> Demi... Rune... Chaz... Alright. That's now that, that you have Rune back, you can make both Blizzard and uh, Firestorm again if you want. Firestorm being the Foy Zon okay, thing. Okay, so... Still can't make Tri Blaster, but okay. So in fact, you won't, you won't be able to make Tri Blaster for a very again for a very long time. But what is that? That's it's a it's Zon and uh, Watt or Zon and Foy. Uh, Chaz is slower, so you might want to put Chaz first. It greatly increases the chances of it happening. Doesn't guarantee it. Dang it, Chaz spell Zon. <laughs> Boom. Spell. Boy. Right? Okay. Well, that'll be Firestorm, so you can have both. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, make yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we go Chaz. Nope. Spell. Um. Zon? Zon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what? Spell. Wait, what spell? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Good, you got it. Yeah, you yeah, understood. Yeah, yeah. Rika, it, took, it took me a half a second, but... <laughs> Yes. Now, now, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the slowest one. Some macros, you have to do certain spells first, regardless of speed. I don't think this is one of them. Okay, this is... We'll, we'll find out. Let's reset this, my little heal bot. Uh, wooden cane. What does Rune have? Does Rune have a cane now? Rain has uh, Rune has a, a force cane or something like that. It doesn't do anything. It's just a weapon. Oh, force cane. I see it. Yeah, yeah. So that's... Nope, that's not right. Demi, Rune... Nope. Chaz, Grits. Now... I believe that's all the combos you can do for now in terms of that. So anything you do from here on out is just your specialty okay. ones. What does Arouse do? Arouse he heals everybody from sleep. Okay. Don't care about that. So you may want, like, Gra or Hewn from Rune. Not what I'm looking for. So, none of those Flaley are is... buffs, right? No, none of those are buffs. Okay, Rune has no buffs. Okay, Rika goes first, though, right? Yes. I want. Illusion is a debuff. Uh, does Chaz have any buffs here? No. No self buffs, nothing. No. Okay, so. Do you know what I'm setting up? That's also not the right order. Anymore. Uh, what's my strongest spell here? Giwat or Gifoy? Giwat is technically stronger, but it also depends on elemental resistances. Oh. But I, I, I guess a neutral enemy, it'd be Giwat. Oh, okay. Or Flaily. Alright, let's do Flaily. And then... Wait, no. Demi goes. No, none of that. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Bailey, Chaz, don't have any self buffs. Buffs. That, for now, is my first turn in a boss fight. It's time to be serious, it's time to buff everyone and go in hard. Okay, now escape. You can either use highness or just walk out. Let's, let's get some exp. Let's see if my macros don't suck. Test macro! Okay, it, this is an instance where it might have to be the single target spell first. It varies from combo to combo, and I unfortunately could not remember. Okay, switch it around. Try Watt first, even though Rune is faster, and then Zon. There we go. It, if this one works, my mistake for the first one. Rune Watt. Uh, which one is this? Zon? Yes. And then fight, fight, fight.
There we go. Alright, so I okay, got to switch, switch the other one? Yeah, yeah. It could have just been chance, but uh, so, some of these spells, or some of these combos do require certain spells to be first. In fact, there's a quad tech later you can do where it does have to be in a very specific order. But it's a quad tech you'll use once and then never use it again because it's more effect, more efficient to just use uh, everybody's single abilities. But whatever. Uh, Work do be bothering me. Oh, sometimes. sorry. Oh, that worked. That. Okay, maybe it's just coincidence then. Shit, I don't know. Maybe it just happened. Well, that means I don't have to go mess up the other the other combination. It might be fine. Oof! <laughs> well. Okay, so, since you're about to leave anyway, use a uh, hermetic power. Right. That's a good ability. That's good eats. Mm -hmm. Demi can single-handedly prevent a wipe. By the way, you don't have to press the button to get out of the land, land rover. You can just run into town with the Land Rover and oh. we'll just yeah yeah okay it's a minor thing word okay now for plate system plateau now there's a lot of good things you want in plate system uh a new axe for Grizz uh, new gear for Demi, including a new skill for Demi. See, androids don't learn skills the traditional way. You, ha you have to find parts for them in machine centers. Have I gone the wrong way? Now, once you complete the dungeon, it, it doesn't, like, shut itself off permanently or whatever. You can go back in, so don't worry about getting progress. You can, you can go ahead and get your progress, and then you can go exploring afterwards. What do you mean? What? Well, you know how sometimes when you complete a dungeon, it'll just shut itself off and you can't go back in anymore? Oh. That, that's not the case here. I didn't you even get realize that. You, you get progress here and complete the dungeon, you can still keep exploring in the place. So don't worry about getting progress. Oh, it doesn't boot me and lock me out. Right, 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 right. So if you feel like going a direction, keep going. If it takes you to the end of the dungeon, that's cool. You just come back out and, you know... Keep exploring. Yeah, these guys hurt. Yep. Like you, you, you can do it without rune. In fact, you're technically supposed to do it before you get rune, but it's much easier if you go get him first. Prepare kit. Yes, those are for Demi. It's a full, it's a, not just a full heal for her, it's a full revive. If she goes down, she can get back up. Mm hmm Where? Rail guns? These guys are jerks. These guys get rail guns and machine guns and laser cannons. You guys are forced to, like, try and beat it with, like, Sticks. weapons. <laughs> Some jerk with a stick. Yeah. And even the one person that has a gun, it's just, it's a it's a concussive force gun, not like a plasma weapon. <laughs> it's meant to subdue organics, not fight uh, machines. I mean, even can well, I guess maybe concussive force doesn't quite necessarily mean impactful force. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not meant to like you know shatter a human's bones or anything. It's enough to subdue them. Right, but I think my thought process, if it'll knock out a human, maybe it'll put a dent in a robot. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it'll still work on them. It's just you know it's not meant for that. Hey, Dex Demi, level one. one. All right. Well, she's not going to get faster than Rika anytime soon. No, D Demi's pretty fast, but she'll never beat Rika. This is suspicious. Nobody, this whole nobody will red. beat Rika. <laughs> A little parallax. Man, let's see what else. There's a. Uh... There's a new axe for Grizz. There's a new knife, should you choose to use it. There's, I think there's all new pieces of gear for Demi, I think, including a new skill. And that might be it. There might be another laser barrier here, I don't remember. Oh, another fun fact about androids. If they're knocked out at the end of a battle, they will revive at the end of the battle with one hit point. Nice. Yeah. So an android can never truly be killed. Jazz up. Gires. If you're feeling a little iffy about Demi, remember she has a recover skill. Right. I might. I mean, she's got plenty of uses of it. Yeah. Yeah, you I... saw it. 267. It's a very powerful heal. And it's only going to get stronger as she gets stronger. Titan gear. That's head gear for her. A few points. Well damn. It still did about what I wanted. <laughs> Does um <clears throat> names? Mm -hmm. Does Rune have healing also? No. Oh. The only thing he gets, which I think he might actually have at this point. Uh, in fact, uh, yeah. Uh, do your thing until you get to Rune, and we'll check his skill list. He might have Rever by now. No, he does not. Okay. He'll learn a spell called Rever, which is short for Reverse, I guess. Um, it just didn't work. That's unfortunate. Um, Rever does the same thing as a Moon do. It restores somebody to life with a few dozen hit points. Oh, Reverser. It's a yeah. Carmen. That's right. There was a Reverser in uh, online, wasn't there? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was for Demi. Really? It's her, it's her body armor. Oh. Yeah. Is everything here for Demi? Yes. Unless well, otherwise not, not, designated? Not, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll be obvious. There, there's an axe, there's a knife. And yeah, that, she, she should have a... She still has a gun around here somewhere. And she has a new skill around here somewhere. Didn't work. For what's worth, Crash will also work on those. Well, yeah, I shut its system down. I crashed it. Listen, you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fire me for this series. Yeah, it turns out weapons made of ceramics suck against machines. If only Grizz had a laser weapon. Yeah, which I'm sure we'll find soon enough. Yeah, probably. This encounter rate's gonna get to me first. It, it can be a little rough at times, I won't lie. 
There's no such thing as a perfect game. I stand by that. However, uh, this is as close as it gets for me, personally. God, I love this game. Like, if I'm talking about my favorite games of all time, right? Right. Number number one is Fantasy Star 4. Number two is Persona 3. Number... Th wait, this... No, I said number two. I almost three. said three, like, that was like, wait, what, three? That's a weird one. No, it's not. That's not a weird thing <laughs> to say. <laughs> uh, number three would be Skies of Arcadia. Number four would probably be Nier Automata. And then five would be Chrono Trigger. I've been wanting to play a, a certain Persona game recently. Yeah? Two. You know, I haven't gone through two. Or one. The, the, that was the first Persona game I played. Nice. And I didn't understand it. <laughs> I know I played some of Persona 1, but it never just held my interest. I've, I've, I've played through part of the PSP Persona 1. And it's not a secret anymore. Yeah, I played some of that one too. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, nah. Something about this isn't for me. But two, I remember when I got it, uh, I look up game chart codes for it, and it's like, you know, start with the Dragoon in the inventory. Me not knowing what the heck that was. It's like, yo, okay. give me that weapon. I want that weapon. And then it was a gun, and then it wasn't even like one of the best weapons. It was like mid tier. <laughs> but it was a good start. Yeah, sure. Remember, don't worry about getting progress. I, I, I hear you, but I still want to find all the things. That's fine. What? What? And honestly, truth be told, I don't remember if that's progress or not. <laughs> I don't either. Sometimes it's a door and it goes to one room. So, sometimes my details on the game on the maps can be a little fuzzy. That's fine. I mean, there was still stuff in in Parasite E that I was consistently learning. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like I, I never knew about how the, the the handle in the sewers revealing more treasure chests. Sure. Uh, I remember what treasures are in these dungeons. I just don't remember how to get through them sometimes. Right. Big boy. Aren't they supposed to stop machines? Spark is supposed to. And stasis beam? Is for organics. It's a paralyzed. Oh, well, that's why that didn't work. Oh, you tried that before? I, was, I must have missed that. And it whiffed. Oh, but yeah, it would definitely whiff against machines. There we go. Shut down. I think this is progress. Again, doesn't matter. We can go back. Right. But we don't uh, get new to that for what's worth, for what it's worth, I think this is progress. You know, funny enough, I don't think it even matters if you complete this dungeon. It adds a little bit of story at the end, but that, that's about it. <laughs> I don't think you actually need to complete it. But there's stuff to get. Oh, absolutely. 
We had I just to meant enact like, the hero tax. This what, what I just meant was like, you know, you come in, smash, grab, get all the stuff, and you can get to the panel at the very end, and then just be like, nah, I'm not touching that, and you just leave, and there's no like consequences for it. Right. This game really does not want me to have these combos. Maybe it is supposed to be the first, uh, the, the single target first. But I've I done both of know. them. I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to look it up. I've, I've tried both of them and they're both failing. It's probably because their speed is so close to each other. Again, the macros don't like guarantee that it'll happen. It's just, okay, the seals, um, Make us that tech users, enemy tech users can't use techs. Ah, mute. Yes, basically. I did not. Great. Shoot them. Did a whole get they get a whole turn of free damage. Good job, Chaz. Derping around with your radioactive sword. Laser or not? Laser or not? I don't think this one is progress. Fun fact? No, it, it's progress. Oh. Uh, fun fact: My first time through the game, I don't know how, but I missed that laser axe. I don't know how. Right. I'm. I, I was a really stupid kid, I guess. As we all once were. Yes, Grizz now has a much better weapon. <laughs> Reflected more than, than just in the attack power. The fact that it can now penetrate uh, armor. Crunch. Like Kaz can. Much better. Grizz is doing like double damage now to those things. And poor Rune is just whacking them with a metal stick. If Good. it even is metal. I don't know why I keep wanting to spare his MP. <laughs> yeah, he, I am he's trying to got, use it, but he don't he, he don't want to work with Chaz. He's definitely got a shit ton of uh, TP. That's for sure. There was a strategy I was going to give you near the beginning of the game, uh, but I'm not going to give it to you because that would be severe hand holding, and it makes the game way, way, way easier. You won't need you won't need it, but it's 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 something I'll tell you about once you beat the game. Ah. If you if you don't if you don't figure it out by then. Another barrier. There's, I could not remember if there was another laser barrier, so it was not unique. But I wanted to get it off on just in case. Because like I said, I, I I promised I would not let you lose unique items. I had to think of an excuse. <laughs> now I gotta think of something for the next time this happens. Like, what's my excuse gonna be when you're about to lose somebody? Oh, oh yeah, take this and use it on somebody else. Uh, I, I promise. Uh, but we're in the middle of a town. Yeah, well, you know. Just do it, shut up. There's her gun. Fun fact about the stun shot. It's not lying. It can cause paralysis in organics. Good. Yeah, she has a status effect weapon. Ow. Now, I imagine doing this dungeon before you go to Termi and buy your new armor without rune. These oh, guys are already hitting hard. Really hard? It, it'd be a lot more painful. This is a control center of the plant system. Rune stands off to the side because he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> well, he's looking at his stuff on the wall. Look at Grizz. He's, uh, uh, he's super pumped right now. <laughs> mm. 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 I have to do, do a bit here. Maybe you'll remember this. The system is down. Mm, 
should I be ashamed that I don't we get the reference? We put that light switch there so you can turn the lights on and off. Not so you can have your stupid little light switch raves. Let's go break your glow stick in the home stars Mountain Dew. Still don't, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> if you don't know Home Star Runner, that's fine. Okay. There is a bit with a luchador who reads e fan emails. And he has a pet called the Cheat. It is a cheetah. <laughs> and they turned an email into a rave. And when you know the you have your generic, you know, line from a sci-fi movie like the system. It's down. The system is down. And they start doing all the beatboxing and whatnot. All right, right on. Maybe I'll find it and put it into the video. Maybe. Now there won't be super any more. Yourself. Sorry. Now there won't be any more earthquakes. Hooray! This will be all right for the time being. But this doesn't solve the problem, you know. The abnormalities will not end unless we shut down Nervous and maybe even Zelen. You're right. And in order to do so, first we have to get to Zeo. Right. All I can think about is Power Rangers Zeo. <laughs> okay, so that did absolutely nothing except for change what some of the people in town say. Because <laughs> now they don't have earthquakes. Mm -hmm. So now the only thing left to find here is, I think, it's is... the other path. It, yeah, her, her, her uh, skill. And it's a good... Why are you healing Grizz? Chas needs it, you dingus. Was Grizz slightly missing just slightly more percentage? I, I don't know. Chas had 40 and Grizz had 60 HP. I'm certain Grizz? that's less. True, but what about max HP? Bro. Oh, oh shit. Um, maybe. Yeah, Grizz has a lot more HP. He, he probably had a high. A, he was probably missing more of a percentage. I think those other boxes are on the other path. Correct. Can we do the move? Thank you. You did a move. I didn't expect it to kill, but I ex I was hoping for more damage in that. Well, these are machines. Right. They're probably heat resistant. No, heal Demi! I know you want. And I want to say that having a lower mental actually means higher magic defense. Because you're too stupid to comprehend taking magic damage. Oh, so like I faith and tactics. Kinda, yeah. Now, androids will take less damage from magic, except from lightning. They take shit tons of damage from lightning, as you might expect. Right. Tactics, you could have a debuff or a buff known as Atheist. That's right. Your faith is like next to zero, so you take no magic damage, you don't believe. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I try to keep faith around, like, the 70 mark, if I can. Like, I don't like boosting it or decreasing it, because it's like, eh, this is kind of a sweet spot for me. If now, you raise Brave, it too get high... get that shit up to 97. Yeah. Yes. If you raise up the faith too high, they could uh, leave and be like, nope, I'm going to go on a pilgrimage, fuck you, bye. That's right, that's right. Can't they also leave if, you, if they have zero faith? Maybe? I can't remember. I know it doesn't hurt to have somebody with, like, kind of low brave. I because do that, that yeah, affects yeah, yeah. move find item. And you want that in uh, the, the deep down, dark deep down. If you get somebody to 10 or less brave, they'll turn them into a chicken. Hey, new 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 dude in chat. Robomegas says uh, he's loving our commentary. Thank you. Oh, hello there. Thank you for, for watching. <laughs> and the follow -up. Both big fans of tactics, and uh, I, I'm here to, to to spread information about Fancy Star Four. Right, data that and I was not here have, just going in blind. That's correct. So no spoilers, or I destroy you. 
Yes, please no spoilers if you do know the game. I'm, do, I'm doing some, some very minor hand holding, and that's about it. Just to make Just sure to... not to miss things. Right. Like this. The move. What? That's a nice little scene, by the way. There's some weird machines in here. Weird. Don't be so rude. Yeah, Chaz. These are spare parts for androids. Spare parts? Yes, they look like internal weapon units. Let's see. They seem to be in working order. And they look like they will fit. I will install them right away. Will you close your eyes and turn your back? Huh? Why? Let's do it, Chaz! She's a little girl, technically. Uh oh? Yeah, they are. That means aware enough to identify as a lady. So, yeah. Well enough. Hmm, everybody, I'm done. Now I'm powered up. Flex! I don't see that anything changed. It looks that way, doesn't it? Well, now you will see. Huh? It's a new weapon. Phenomenizer. Phonon, Phonon Mazer. She Phonon kicks Mazer. the face and uh, attacks all enemies with uh, sound waves, and it does a lot of damage. She said she kicks the base? She kicks the base. Base cutting! Mm-hmm. So, like, like <laughs> you, you can use it here in a little bit, because, yeah. In fact, uh, go ahead, next battle. As long as it's more than one thing. Yeah, Good. just have Ideal. everybody defend Perfect. it. Perfect. Just have her use Phonon Mazer and let everybody else defend. But she goes first. For a cool. Thank you for thank you for not spoiling, Robo. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, somebody already spoiled something earlier. Yeah, and for like, my friend here. They did. I'm certain that they didn't mean to. They were just excited to express, like, "Oh man, that thing that happened was such a moving moment." It's like, bruh, I haven't got that far. Yeah. I, know I, I record <laughs> ahead, and like the first episode hasn't even gone up on YouTube yet. It's just like, like, bruh. She should kicks the base. Bam! Base cannon! <laughs> There's a reason why she has so limited uses, uh, so a uh, few uses of it. Does it work on organics? Oh yeah, it works on anything. Hell yeah. But yeah, the whole lady thing in androids, you know, uh... Androids in the series don't typically have that level of awareness. So it's just like, yes, I know I'm an android. I'm here to fight, beat, boop, bop. But Demi's a little different. She was created to be as close to human as possible, and as such, kind of like how I guess from uh, Persona 3 works, uh, it's just enough to identify themselves as either male, male or female, and in Demi's case, female. And have a modicum of modesty, like realize like, human female does not appear naked, do not appear yeah. naked in front of human. Yeah, I mean, does, does she actually have the bits? Probably not, but I mean... She's probably got like a Barbie doll level of bits. Maybe, but even then, it's like, like if, if if she thinks if this is important to her, that yeah, let, respect let her do that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I learned Gitu. Gitu. Yep, that's that's your your tier two holy laser beam. Oh, I thought that was gonna be like Gi Thunder. That would be oh, no, no, no. too ideal. It, 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 it's it's the the second tier version of Sue, which is a holy attack. Or, it looks like just a laser beam, but it Wait. is apparently holy damage. Who the fuck learned it? That was Chaz. Oh. Chaz is the only one that gets the Sue abilities, I oh, the, think. Oh, the, the holy stuff. Yeah, I, th I think he's the only one. Well, I'm thinking of randomizer where other people can get it. <laughs> kind of, you know, low on MP, so... With all the yes, failed my, attempts at combo move. My, my brain is a little scrambled at times when it comes to this game, because I'm thinking randomizer. Right. Because you played it so many regular times. Mm hmm Nope, can't Is cast it? it. I thought so. Uh, too, yeah, too little. Air slash. Right. So many regular Nope, can't cast it. I thought so. Demi's gun just farts when it misses. <laughs> Bam. Rika, level up. Disrupt. Disrupt is a AOE physical attack for Rika. Ah. Basically, she makes shadow clones of herself. 
it's not, you know, reduce enemy accuracy by 50%. Right. It's not Super Robot Wars. <laughs> it's not That's my true, favorite spell! <laughs> Uh, what turn-based RPGs would you recommend for the Genesis? Turn-based RPGs? Well, I mean, aside from this one, um, you know, the, the thing is about the Genesis is there's not that many RPGs, and it's really a shame. Yeah, kind the, of ones that are there, the ones that are there are really good. Uh, if you don't mind strategy RPG, I strongly recommend Shining Force 1 and 2, especially 2. 2 is much more balanced. Uh, aside from that, uh, geez, I'm kind of struggling to think of RPGs for the Genesis. Vixen 357, a mecha-based strategy RPG. That's true. But in terms of just turn-based RPGs, uh... Not many exist. Uh... You would Fatal have to Labyrinth. look them up. Fatal Labyrinth doesn't really count. I don't know about that. Uh... I don't know if Pierre Salar counts because that was a a very much aftermarket game. Uh, hmm. Boy, I'm really struggling. I mean, there's not that many turn-based RPGs in the first place, at least not in the, not in uh, English. Right. I mean, I'm sure fan patches exist for some, maybe, probably. Yeah. Is it? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, oh god, who who made War Song? Uh, slash Langrisser. Um, oh, they're Langrisser. It's kind of in the same style, though. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the same thing. On that note, it does remind me of uh, Master of Monsters, but that's not really an RPG. That's just a straight up Lanzer? strategy game. Uh, Is Girl that Lanzer a Sega game? By the same... No, that was... Uh... I think I started on Saturn? Huh, or I know we have a, a, a box of... A, a, we have a box set, like a later release of Growlanzer, the first. I, I have think. a Growlanzer game on PS2 from like way back. I can't remember which one it is. Um, uh, yeah, now Vixen357, oh, I don't know who yeah. made that one. Okay, okay, you know what? I just thought of a turn-based RPG. It, it's It's got like a, a grid. So it's kind of, it's more tactical RPG, but whatever. Uh-huh. Look up, to our guest here, look up Buck Rogers, Countdown to Doomsday. If you like D&D, like if you played Baldur's Gate 3, perhaps, look up Buck Rogers on the Sega Genesis. It's kind of done in the same style as, in fact, it, it, it if you're aware of what the Dungeons and Dragons Gold Box games are from way back in the day, uh, this Buck Rogers game is one of them, and EA made it into a console-friendly game. It's actually pretty fun. Well then, next time yeah. we go back to town. All combat is over. Now that you've tasted victory, I'm sure you'll be back. <laughs>